So the goal of this video is to show you how to align the camera, and this is especially useful for tile scanning. So here's a nice example of what happens if your camera isn't aligned properly. When you do a mosaic or tile scan, what you get are these jagged edges on the sides of your images. Sometimes if it's really not aligned properly, you'll, you won't even get good matching for the stitching. So it's really important to make sure that your camera is aligned properly. So the first thing we're we're going to do is make sure you're on an objective that is lower mag. Currently I'm on the 10x, 5x also works well. Now let's go live. What we want to do is find a little speck that is easy to follow. So for our purposes, I will choose to follow this little speck right here. So how to track that speck? We can hit Control T and then I'll use my joystick or maybe you have a smart move and move it left to right like this. And you can see that the dot is moving off the axis by a certain predictable way. The next thing we want to do is loosen the C-mount from the base of the microscope. I took a picture of that from a DMI-8 microscope stand. If you're using a DM-6, an upright microscope, that might look a little different. But essentially, you definitely want to rotate the seam mount from the base of the microscope and not from the camera. If you rotate the camera, you may unscrew the camera from the C-mount, and this is obviously not a good thing. It makes everything unstable. So make sure you use a three millimeter Allen wrench to unscrew the C-mount. Then you want to rotate. So let's go back to our image. Let's bring our image close to the middle, and maybe what I like to do is not go all the way out to the edge. I start a little bit closer to the middle rings here and I will rotate the C-mount and then check again that it's moving more or less along that line. I'm still a little bit off. You can see that this is a little bit tedious, but getting this right is extremely helpful. Once I have it pretty close to what I want, so once I have it pretty close to what I want, I'll go back and tighten the C-mount, and you'll see that sometimes this moves the camera. So be careful not to loosen the C-mount too much, or else you might get a lot of... You might end up with some problems when you tighten the C-mount, and you have to realign. Okay, so now that I have a pretty nice alignment, I'll hit Control t to get rid of my crosshairs. And I'll go back to Navigator and check my alignment. So I'll go to this Navigator icon. And this is the, the area that I previously imaged. Let's start again. And you can see that I still have a little bit of an edge here, but it's not nearly as bad as that, right? So much progress. The next thing I want to do is adjust for camera flip. The easiest way to check whether your camera needs to be flipped is by doing a quick spiral in Navigator. And it helps to have a continuous piece of tissue that's really obvious the directionality. So looking at this spiral of a mouse embryo, we can see that vertically everything looks pretty good, but horizontally things look flipped. So we can go into our camera preferences, which we can access either under beam path preferences or image camera preferences. Either way, it's the same. And then look, looking at our image flip, we can uncheck horizontal. Then we can hit start. And now everything is lining up just the way we need them to.